It's your brother, the OG. And today we here with content, content, content. Y'all know how I do. What's up, y'all? Welcome to Solomon's Vineyard. It's your host, your brother, your homie, Russell Mack, the OG. I'm here with a fragrance review, y'all. A fragrance that came out in 2016 from the house of Calvin Klein, y'all. So, before I get into the fragrance, if you are new to the channel, uh, I want you to become a part of the family, the SB family. Uh, you know what to do. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit that bell. You're going to hear a bell like that, right? Hit all, uh, so you will uh, get all notifications from my channel when I upload a video like to, like uh, tonight I'm going to upload a video you'll get a notification because you hit that bell and you tap on all for all content alright uh, don't forget to comment if you like to say hello comment on the fragrance if you like it or don't like it feel free to leave a comment down in the thread and I will answer you okay uh, not only that y'all I have an announcement to make, uh, but I'm going to make it in a couple of days, um, um, probably in about two to three days, so be on the lookout for the special announcement. Also, you see me, you see my attire, I'm working right now, I'm cleaning, um, but I wanted to do this review because it's a fragrance that I found, uh, didn't know I had it, and I want to smell it, and I'm compare it to the original, it's a flanker, okay? So, make sure you be on the lookout for all notifications uh, and live streams, y'all. I'm about to start back to doing live streams. And I'm so excited, I can't wait to start. So stay tuned for the announcements, uh, any posts that I may put out, like my sin of the day, uh, check those out. And uh, you can tell me also what you rocking, uh, my boy who we are. Y'all have been dropping some bangers, yes indeed. Uh, shout out to him and shout out to all of the SB family who I haven't talked to in a while. So uh, let's get into the fragrance, y'all. You might hear a little noise as my people are cleaning. Uh, so just overlook that noise. All right, let's get into it, y'all. This here is CK1 Gold. CK1 Gold. Uh, it's a flavor of the original CK1. As you see there, I got a little bit, just enough to compare, um, you know, the the flanker, if you will. Now, a lot of you remember CK1. Um, I think it came out in the, not what, 94, I believe. I'm not sure, but I believe 94. This kind of bottle, all right? We got CK1 written there, and man, I still like this fragrance. Yes, it does. It's kind of dated. Oh, man. But it still opens up very beautiful. You got a citrus opening. It's floral. It's musky. It's it's a safe, uh, mass appealing scent. And I still like it, y'all. Now, I don't know about the current formulations. Uh, but I remember back then, uh, you got CK1. It would stick around on you for a good little while. Uh, at least the best I got right now, it lasts for a while. So I love it, y'all. I just want to refresh my memory with the scent of CK1. And it's still good, y'all. It is a unisex fragrance. It's a casual fragrance. I feel you can wear this casual. And I feel that, that you can even dress it up if you like. Semi-casual, put it like that. Casual, semi-casual. Maybe a, a blazer, some jeans, you know. I would take it there. And anybody could rock this, okay? Man, woman could rock it. And it was one of the first unisex fragrances of that time. Yes, it was. So CK1, y'all, beautiful fragrance. I like it. Um, but we want to go on and smell the fragrance. This is a 2016, as I said. Oh, Lord. I pulled the whole thing off, y'all. Let me, let, me, let me get it right. Oh, let, me get that, let me get that cap back in there. The whole itemizer came off. There we go. All right. Y'all don't know how these uh, bags do, these itemizers do. So here we go. No, I'm not going to skip. I'm not going to redo this. I'm going to keep going. 
Ah. Let me smell them side by side. Oh my God, I kind of like it, y'all. And it strayed a good bit away from the original. I don't even pick up none of this DNA here that's on my left hand. Wow. So you, you have notes, I'm gonna put the bottle up since we got a decan. Uh, you should see a bottle there, and your notes are fig. And you do smell the fig, you do get the fig. Bergamot, sage, you got the violet, jasmine, and the, the rolling, and you're not really getting any of the rolling. Then you have guayac wood, some vetiver, and patchouli in the base. It's classified as a woody fragrance. Look at my thumbnail, that's why I got the idea. It's a woody fragrance. I don't know why they call it that, but you do get this very bright opening with the bergamot and fig. It's a, it's it's kind of synthetic, but it's really really bright and juicy. Uh, you get a little bit of the sage, a little spiciness from the clary sage, green nuances, but then it goes right into that jasmine note. That's the note that stands out for me. Is the jasmine, the violet, uh, and the vetiver and patchouli. The guayac wood does round the fragrance out, uh, and it gives it depth and body. Man, definitely easy to wear. A mass appealing. They didn't really push the envelope with this one, but it's very nice. It's real nice, y'all. That fig, uh, you lose that fig after about 10, 15 minutes, and then you start getting more of that jasmine uh, along with the violet leaf, um, the vetiver, and the patchouli. You get a woody, patchouli, earthy patchouli dried out at the end of it all. All right? So I'm gonna give it a seven out of 10, and, and a great effort by CK1. But I still like that mustiness from the original, y'all. I love it. Anyway, definitely casual uh, wear. It's office safe. Uh, two, two feet projection. And I'm going to say six hours uh, at the most before it becomes a skin scent. So spray your clothes, uh, your shirt, uh, the back of your shirt, <laughs> you know. Real nice. Go ahead, CK1. Good job, Calvin Klein. CK1 Gold. Now, I don't know why they call it Gold, but I do like it, y'all. So get your nose on it. CK1 Gold by Calvin Klein. I'm sorry about that. That big cat opening. Now, look, now it's open. No problem. So I had it in my pocket, so that might have been what it is. But you still in there, y'all? All right, so be on the lookout for the announcement. Thank you all for stopping by. Let me know if you tried this fragrance. Let me know if you smelled it and what you think about it, all right? I'm done, y'all. Got work to do. I'll see y'all later. Take care of yourselves. God bless you. Peace.